tonight on CBS 19 News at 10, an East Texas teenager has spent nine years in foster care. And he's ready for a supportive, loving, forever family. We'll introduce you to Tyree and our Children Are a Gift Report tonight on CBS 19 News at 10. Now, on to this morning's top stories. Good morning and thanks for joining us for this CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Clint Yates. And I'm Dana Huey. Looking ahead right now, classes at Longview's Pine Tree High School will resume today after a student was arrested yesterday for allegedly threatening violence at that school. Christopher Andrew Jones is out of jail after posting a $10,000 bond. He's a 17-year-old senior at Pine Tree High School. Jones is charged with making a terroristic threat. Longview police say FBI agents learned that Jones made the threats in an internet chat room. He said he would lock the doors to the school cafeteria and begin what he called the greatest shooting ever. Officers arrested Jones before he got to school on Monday. I know is that this person should know better and should represent our school better. So. If it's a threat and if it's seen, I think it should be taken care of, initially done right then and there. Making a terroristic threat is a third degree felony punishable by up to 10 years in prison. A follow up, the young man in Marshall who collapsed last week at football practice is back at home. Eighth grader Khalil Wallace passed out on the football field last Monday. He was released from a Shreveport hospital, but according to Marshall ISD, he has not returned to school. The district says a heart condition may have contributed to the boy's collapse. The repair process is expected to get underway soon at a Tyler gas station following a pump fire. Witnesses captured this cell phone video of the fire engulfing the pump on Sunday. A driver forgot to remove the nozzle before driving off at the Exxon on Commerce in the Loop. Despite the size of the fire, only one pump was damaged and no one was hurt. The store owner is looking for contractors to repair the damage. As of right now, the remaining pumps are safe to use. You know, this week it's been a little bit warmer than it's supposed mm. to be this time of year. It feels a lot more like summer to me than I would say fall. Yeah, it is a little humid out there, but some change is coming. Mm -hmm. That's the good news. Let's get over to Scott Fossey. He's got an update on the weather. Clinton Dana, your Tuesday forecast for you across the East Texas area. We warm into the mid 80s by lunchtime. Additional cloud cover by then. If we see any spotty shower and thunderstorm activity. Deep East Texas moving slowly north up into the I-20 corridor, potentially that far north by late afternoon today. Sea breeze frontal system activity. Definitely what we can plan on is warmer than normal temperatures once again today. Scattered showers and thunderstorms more numerous up in the Panhandle region. A big upper level storm system starting to work out of the Colorado Rockies now over the next couple of days. Our winds shift around out of the south. Humidity goes up. Temperature does too over the next two and a half to three days. At least through Thursday, we're looking at highs between 88 and 90. That's running some seven or eight degrees warmer than is typical or normal for this time of the year. As we check out your three to seven day planner, find your umbrellas at least by Thursday afternoon and evening. We'll call for a 40% chance Thursday mid afternoon on through the wee morning hours on Friday morning. Notice the change though Friday. We clear out highs then up. Upper 70s. Thank you, Scott. For the very latest all day long, go to CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com. And join us later for CBS 19 News at 5, 6, and 10.